What's going on everybody? Mr. Happy Drew here with another Stardew Valley Year One Spring Day 24. We're here and today we're going to do a fire dance flower dance festival or fire flower dance festival. I'm not quite sure what it's called. Let's get our weather for tomorrow. Weather is gonna be cloudy with light breeze, okay? Fortune teller, it doesn't really matter. A little extra luck, that's good. And then Queen of Sauce, Coleslaw. But I already know how to cook Coleslaw. Okay, cool. So let's go see our crops. Oh, hold on, what's this? Hi, Drew, I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research for the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know the empty cave over there, a little ways west? Well, I have, I have a way to turn it into something useful for both of us. I like to set up the cave to attract local species that may that way I may reserve them in a more controlled environment and you look you can harvest whatever you products they produce. I can either set it up so it attracts mushroom fruit or fruit bats. Or the fruit bats will sometimes leave the fruit that they collected. Hmm. Mushrooms or bats? Let's let's look up the pros and cons for that because I don't remember. I remember that you could do this, but I don't remember which one was better? Uh, Stardew Valley. Uh... <clears throat> Let's look this up. Fruit bats can collect cherries, peaches, apples, and berries, and they drop into the cave every once in a while. Every one of these items is easy to get, but they're useful for giving villagers. Hmm. Or mushrooms. And the mushrooms have, like, you can make basically the best. So... For what we want to do, let's do bats because we want the fruit that they produce for our. We want mushrooms or do we want bats? Let's think here. Mush bats will be good for the community center because we could fill out the community center easier. But mushrooms would be better for doing the mines. But that won't really matter after we get enough gold, because we will we'll be spending our gold on salads to rejuvenate energy and health. So let's do bats, so because it's gonna help us overall. Alrighty, I'll go set it up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Thank you for letting me do this. No problem, buddy. All right, this isn't done yet. That's weird. Say hello, doggy. Give it a little water. Let's go. Nothing in here quite yet. Let's see if there's produced anything yet. Nothing has been produced, so we'll just water everything in. I hope this will be done by tomorrow, if not the next day. Flower Festival begins relatively soon. Oh, 
Oh, when I did look up the copper pickaxe, it doesn't break these. It's the iron pickaxe that breaks these. So we'll have to wait until we get enough iron. That's 25 iron ore to get the axe pickaxe updated. There we go. So that's that done. Let's head over and get our water going and... It's 9 a.m. Let's see if there's any more stones in the area. It's a... There's that. Flower dance has just begun, so we'll head over there in just a minute. There we go. There's that. Let's grab a seedling up here as well, and then we'll head to the Flower Festival right now. Alright, here we go. Flower Festival, ho! Alright. This is exciting. I know I can't dance with anybody because I think you need several hearts into someone to dance with somebody, but you can buy this stuff. Which is nice. I want to buy the rare crow. Because we're going to collect all eight scarecrows. Let's buy this. And then we have... We should really save our money. We could buy this next year for decorations. Let's, let's decorate next year and we'll save our money for stuff. And let's just talk to Penny... Ask me to dance? Why not? Yeah, I thought so. And there's Leah next to... I'm glad to see you. And then... She's going to say no, too. Yeah, I think so. Alright, cool. So let's go talk to... Here we go. Let's start the dance. Here we go. This is going to be a quick day. This is going to be a really quick day because... <laughs> Look at her face. Her Penny's face is fantastic. Actually. All right, so it's ten o'clock at night. Let's, and this is still not done being. Oof. Let's go over here real quick. Is that a? No. Okay. I thought it was worms for a second. Maybe we can talk to Linus real quick. No? I was hoping there might be something else we could do today. Oh, there he is right there. What's up, Linus? Spring is almost over. It's, it is a shame. Alright, so we have technically... We can go for one hour. That actually answers my question about this pickaxe. It one hits these now. It's good to know. Cool. And I'm just going to head home at like uh, 12 o'clock.
Might as well do something with our extra time we have here. Oh, there it is right there. Let's head home. I feel like it's a waste of energy if we don't at least try to do something today. Alright, there we go. Have a good night, Linus. Oh, I could cut down these. No, I can't. I don't have an axe anymore. I uh, could not do anything. That's good to know. Like, the f between festivals, I might want to keep my axe on me so I can cut down trees or something. One o'clock. Pop this in here. We're going to throw this rare crow in the, on the field tomorrow. Hi, doggy. All right, and with that, we're going to bed. It's a real short day, but I'd like to thank everybody who's watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day or night, and ta-ta for now. See you again tomorrow, the 25th.